Today we're going to solve one of the biggest problems that we as photoshoppers face and that is how to fit image to canvas. Now here's what I mean, have a look. Now this is a very big image. If you click in here and if you select document dimensions, you'll be able to see the dimensions and that is around 5000 pixels wide and 3600 pixel height. Now if you select all of it, control or command A and then control or command C and move into another canvas, this is a 1080p or 1920 into 1080p canvas. If you paste it here, control or command V, this turns out to be a very humongous photo, doesn't fit into the canvas. And if you want to resize it, you will have to go control or command T and then zoom out. And this is going to be a very tedious process. So today I'm going to give you some tips, tricks and techniques to make the process more faster, automatic, easier, quicker. So without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So here we are back in Photoshop with the same canvas and the same image. Now here's the thing, there's not one way of doing it, there are several ways of doing it. Number one, change your way of importing your photos into the canvas. So instead of going here and selecting all of it, Controller Command A, Controller Command C and Controller Command V, what you need to do, you need to go to that folder and then select the image that you want, this was the image. Just drag it, take it over the Photoshop icon and just release it over the canvas that you want. And as soon as you do that, it adjusts automatically, resizes automatically according to the canvas in the form of a smart object. Now if you hit enter, as you can see, this is a smart object, which is a good thing. Which means that if you make it bigger or smaller, it won't lose any pixel details. It will retain the quality of the original image, which means that if the original image was say 20 megapixels, it will still be 20 megapixels. If you make it bigger, if you press Ctrl Command T and if you make it bigger, it won't lose any details. Have a look. This was a big image. If I zoom in, it's not losing any details. Why? Because this is a smart object. Now, here's another way of doing it. If you don't see it resizing it automatically, here's what you need to do. Go to Edit, Preferences and then General. Once you're in general, make sure that resize image during place is selected. And always create smart object when placing is selected if you wanted to create a smart object. So once you make sure both of them are checked, click OK. Now here's one more thing. If you don't want to drag and drop, here's what you can do. Delete it and all you have to do, go to File, Place Embedded. Just click on that button and then select the image that you want. For example, this time let's select this image and place and automatically it adjusts to the canvas in the form of a smart object. Now I want you to see something else. Okay, so let's hit enter. This is a smart object. This is an image. You can rasterize it anytime you want. For example, you want to just uh, remove the wrinkles or enhance something which requires rasterization. So at that time, all you have to do, just right click on it and select rasterize layer and there you have it. Now, if you want it to be ready-made, already rasterized, here's what you can do. It's very simple. I gave you the hint in the beginning, the same general properties. So delete this. All you have to do, edit preferences, general. And in the general preferences, just check off these things. Always create smart objects when placing. Just check off this thing and it will not create smart object. It will rasterize the photo. But I highly recommend that this is checked. Now, here's one more thing. Skip transform when placing. Now, one of the biggest nuances that we face that every time we import a photo, I know it's adjusted. It already comes with transformation tool. You might need that transformation tool. You might not need that transformation tool. And accordingly, you can check this off and on. So this time it is by default unchecked. So if you check it, here's what will happen. Click OK and then when you import the photo, go to File, Place Embedded or you can just drag and drop. It's the same thing, Place Embedded, say I import this one. It will just skip it. It will rasterize the photo because we unchecked always create smart objects. It will also skip the transformation because we made that choice in the general preferences. So these were the two very important features that I wanted you to know. So either you can drag and drop or you can go to File, Place, Embedded. Also, you want to make the settings that you want according to your workflow, go to the General Preferences tab. You can do that by going to Edit, Preferences and then select General. Also, if you're using a Mac, it would be under Photoshop and then Preferences. Also, what you can do, you can press Ctrl or Command K to go to the General Preferences tab directly, right? 
Now let me give you a couple more tips and tricks which can be useful. Now suppose you want to do that old fashioned way or you face a situation where you have to select and paste it into another canvas. What to do in that situation? Okay, so let's go ahead and delete this. So for example, we have the same photo and we want to paste this using the same method. Control or command A, control or command C and when you paste it here, Here's what you can do. The simplest thing is to go control command T and it becomes quite huge. So you can press, once you press control command T, you can press control command zero. Your screen adjusts to fit all of this. Now make it smaller. Again, press control command zero. Your screen adjusts accordingly. And again, just do it and hit enter and there you go. Now, if you don't press controller command T, here's what will happen. Okay, so let's go back. And if I don't press controller command T, if I just directly press controller command zero, it will just adjust the canvas to the screen. When you press controller command T, it will fit whole of the selection inside your screen when you press controller command zero. Okay, now coming back to the first method, here was a problem. So when you dragged and dropped, okay, for example, this photo, when you dragged and dropped, here was a catch. What it does when Photoshop automatically resizes, it matches the length of the shortest side of the image to the shortest side of the canvas. So the length of the shortest side was this, it matches it, it just makes it equal to the shortest side of, side of the canvas and thus it leaves certain bars around the edge. Now here's a few workarounds. You can go control command T and you can crop the photo. Maybe you want to crop the photo from the bottom. So here's what you need to do. Control command T, move the anchor point to the top. Okay. And then hold shift and alt. Then it will make the image larger from the top and it will only crop the bottom. Okay. So number one, crop. Number two, instead of fitting the image to the canvas, why not fit the canvas to the image? Here's what I mean. So this image is smaller than the canvas, right? And that's why we have these bars around this. What we can do, we can go to image, easily click trim. Okay. Now what that will do, that will trim the extra parts of the canvas, trim anything which has no information and trim it to the size of the photo. Now here's what I want to warn you with. When you trim, you change the aspect ratio of the canvas. Suppose the aspect ratio of your canvas was 16 is to 9 and your image was square, your aspect ratio will change to 1 is to 1 and you might not want that. So keep that in mind. Okay. Now that was when the image was smaller, you trim. When you have a bigger image than the canvas, here's what you need to do. Okay. So go to a big image. We'll go to the same controller command A, controller command C, and then paste it here. Now, instead of fitting the image into the canvas, how about making the canvas big enough to fit the photo? Here's what you need to do. Go to image, then reveal all. See, the canvas becomes big enough to fit the photo. In this instance too, the aspect ratio changed. Previously, our aspect ratio was 16 is to 9. Now it has changed. As you can see in the dimensions, 5472 into 3648, it has changed. So unless the larger image or the smaller image has the same aspect ratio, when you trim or reveal all, the aspect ratio is bound to change. So those were a couple of tips about fitting your image to canvas. Just remember these few things. Number one, you can either drag and drop or go to file place embedded. Your image will resize automatically. Number two, if it doesn't resize automatically, if you don't want the smart object or if you want the smart object to show or if you want the transformation to show or not show, you can press controller command K to go to general preferences tab. Or if you are a Windows user, you can always go to edit preferences general. If you are a Mac user, you can go to Photoshop preferences and then general tab. Now number three, you can also use reveal all or trim. If you have a small image, trim. If you have a big image, reveal all. Number four, always keep in mind that when you reveal all or trim your photo, your aspect ratio can change. I hope this video helped and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Until then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.